This is my new iRobot Roomba 880 model. This is the first try, so I don't know how this is going to work out. The Roomba is fully charged, as you can see by the green battery. This is at its docking station that has to be plugged into the wall and leaned up against a firm surface on the wall so that the Roomba can dock itself. This is one of the two lighthouses, or you can have it set on the virtual wall and block off an area that you don't want the Roomba to clean. And now these are my floors, carpeted floors that I haven't vacuumed in two months, so we'll see how this works out. And you can see the dirt in it. There's pine needles, mud that hasn't been vacuumed. The Roomba's turning on, leaving the dock. Lighthouses turn on when the Roomba turns on. And there are different settings on the Roomba. You can spot clean or you can just have a general clean. Looks like it's staying against the borders. So if the surface is uneven when you step into another room, it doesn't seem that it'll cross that. Seems like cords don't get trapped under it like it could for other vacuums. So this is the Roomba filter, and as you can see, it is pretty full. So the bin was full. Okay, so now I'm setting the schedule. Sunday, I'm setting up for 6 a.m. So to get to Sunday, you hit day. The hour set for six minute, I'm setting it for six o'clock, and then you have to hit okay to confirm it. So again, to schedule, and then to change the day, I'll change it to Monday now. I'm set for Monday, and I'm setting it for 4.30. It's set in 15 minute increments, and then again, you hit OK. And then you can actually set that up for every day of the week. This is the remote. As you can see, there's spot clean. And this is the dock button. I did it! Good job, Roomba! <laughs> <laughs>
I didn't record it. <gasps> so this is the next day um, after my first Roomba use. As we can see, uh, he looks like it, it did a pretty good job of cleaning to see all the carpet lines. Um, something to keep in mind is if you have a unique layout to your house for a lot of different hallways and crevices, you really have to figure out uh, a good configuration for the lighthouses and virtual walls uh, so that Roomba can find its way back to its home base.